South Korea is stepping up its security cooperation with its longtime ally, the United States. The focal point will be on ways to effectively deal with North Korean threats and find ways to pressure the reclusive state to denuclearize. Kim ji yeon tells us more. South Korea is increasing its cooperation with the international community to pressure the North Korean regime to denuclearize. South Korea and the U.S. have agreed to share intelligence on the waters above the northern limit line in the West and East Seas to effectively deal with provocations involving North Korean submarines. In an exclusive interview with Seoul-based broadcasting system KBS, South Korean Foreign Minister Yoon byung se said there will be a 2 plus 2 meeting in October between the South Korean and U.S. ministers of foreign affairs and defense. Before such meeting in two years is scheduled to be held in the U.S., Minister Yoon added that South Korea is seeking various ways in cooperation with its allies and the U.S. Security Council members to convince North Korea that its pain and suffering will only increase if it continues to develop nuclear weapons and missiles. Yoon said international pressure on the North seems to be having an effect, pointing to the recent defection of a top North Korean diplomat in London and the unprecedented number of other high-ranking regime officials who have fled their posts this year. Yoon added there's a high possibility of a bilateral summit between South Korea and China on the sidelines of a G20 summit next week for the two sides to lay out their differences on the formation of a collective response to the North Korea issue. Seoul and Beijing have differed recently on Seoul's plans to deploy the Terminal High Altitude Defense, or THAAD, system from the U.S., in which China sees it as a way to spy on its territory. Kim Jiang, Arirang News.